Good morning. So is once a week of exercise pointless and why it's easier to go from one to two than naught to one? And it's a bit like when you drive. Like, I remember learning to drive, like that start up. Oh, I used to hate it when you get you hit traffic lights. You used to be like, all oh, right, we're the clutch ready, all that stuff. I don't think you have to worry about that too much if you learn an electric car anymore. Anyway, but I always used to think, right, oh, get, getting the car started would be the hardest part. Once you get going, it's fine. And it's exactly the same with the exercise side of things. And I'm saying this because some people will look at, ah, oh, there's no more, not much point in doing once a week. You know, I'm not going to get much out of that. And here's the thing. It's a lot easier to go from one to two when you are ready than it is to go from zero to one, having not exercised. Now, the reason being is because that base level of fitness that you might take for granted that once a week allows you to do, the strength, the mobility, the recovery, the endorphins, the mood, which then impacts what you eat potentially, how you sleep, which is a vital part of recovery and your health, your blood sugar levels, independent of weight loss, has a huge effect on that. So let's say you are busy because, let's face it, when there's a lot going on, it's very easy. Morning, Stephanie. If you come in and give me a hello, if you are on replay, let me know. It's very easy to just kind of say, you know, I've got a lot on at the moment. You know, I've got this on, I've got that on and and it's really interesting, like as an observation in the, and I, and I do it too sometimes, it goes through my head and I'm, I'm aware of when I do it. Because I've got this on and because I've got that on, I'm just going to do nothing. Hey Claire, so because I've got a lot of this on, I've got that on, I'm just going to do nothing. And we do it a lot, right? And it's, we almost forget that that zero to one is the hardest part, getting going again. Once you get going, when that time's right again, when you go from that, one to two, if you feel like you're ready for that, it'll be a hell of a lot easier than going from zero to one. That zero to one jump is the hardest part. And I want to remind from a personal point of view as well, like ever since COVID really, I haven't really just gone straight in with an hour session or anything like that. For me personally, in my own training, I used to do that. A uh, combination of kids, COVID means I've just, I just train a bit differently now. I train like the odd 10 minutes, one minute even. And that actually just suits my lifestyle better. And has that been pointless? Well, no, because I've, I've kept all of my strength doing that, but it means I get more done, I'm more, a bit more productive. I can do it whilst looking after the kids in and out. I don't have to leave the house as much as often. There's more access to stuff from home. And imagine if I'd have gone, yeah, I've got this and that, COVID, that. there's no way I would have kept my results on that. And I was speaking to someone just, was it Monday? What's the day? Wednesday? Yeah, it must have been Monday now. And they just started on our Live Well program, which has just started now, by the way. Flexible start date for the next two weeks. If you want more information on that, just comment below. Marlborough devices or from home. And she was saying, I actually think that I'm only going to be able to get to you once a week because of my work schedule. Is it worth it? And I just said, like, what, what do you think? And she was like, well, I'm not sure once a week will do anything. And I said, if you were to do four sessions a month, do you think that would have any impact? Given that she's now halfway towards the government guidelines of exercise now compared to nothing. So in one month, she'd gone from doing zero to four. When we think about it like that, that's quite a jump. And also she's already doing walking, which we forget as well. I'm already doing that. I'm not really doing anything. What are you doing walking? Plus you add in some muscle strengthening work now. You're working the muscles a bit differently. Now we're talking bone density, muscle, independence as we age, better mobility, all of these things. That now has an impact. And it's always the seemingly small things that has an impact. When you do them consistently over time, which is then the annoying part of it, which is actually, that means it's actually a big thing. And who knows, after a month, you might go, you know, I might do one from home as well now. I might do the odd one minute. And it sounds really small, but some people are spending their lives researching the importance of just standing up every, on the hour, of just doing some muscle strengthening work and adding that in that. We're seeing more and more of this as sarcopenic obesity. Sarcopenia comes to um, a lot more research in there in terms of muscle loss with age and with obesity, either or, and the impacts on our health, on our independence, on our risk of disease. So I hope that helps. And a reminder that if you're thinking, oh, is that even worth it? That's not, oh, it's not gone to plan today. Just think something is better than nothing all of the time. Anyway, 
Hope that helps. Have an awesome day. If you want more information about our March Live Well and Kickstart program, just drop a comment below or send me a message. I'll get you the details. Have an awesome Wednesday. Take care. Speak